What's up guys welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to uh, basically transition the camera from first person into a type of third person when you are interacting for example with a button or anything that you want. It's going to be a very easy tool to follow so let's get started. Alright so I have you set up here just a, like a button here that you, literally you cannot press or anything but um, it's just to show you the functionality okay. Um, so basically, let's go ahead and the first thing I have to do is go ahead and open our third person character or your first person character if you already have like a mesh applied to it. Then you can, you know, have a character uh, from the outside or uh, whatever, you know, blueprint you have. Okay, so I have basically my uh, third person character. I just put him, the camera on his head. So it's basically like in uh, first person. Uh, I do have a tutorial on first person to third person. So I'll be linking it in the description. So if you want to know how to do this, uh, yeah, just check it out. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to need is a reference into that position where the camera will change to third person. Okay, so uh, basically you select the capsule co uh, component. And just add a, an arrow, okay? So an arrow, and it's gonna be the uh, third person uh, reference. And basically, we're gonna just go ahead and uh, gonna get the pivot and just put it and place it where we want uh, it to have, okay? So, for example, let's say that we want to have it over here, and it's gonna be looking kind of of an angle into uh where we are looking at it. like for example into the button or something like that okay so something like this we can turn it in later as we go okay so now that we have our third person reference we go into the events graph okay and i find a cool spot over here and uh basically you basically um call this event whenever you were to interact uh, with a button or whatever you want to use for, okay? In my case, I'm just gonna do it when I press a key, um, but I'm gonna do a proper event. So it's gonna go to my event, it's gonna be um, transition camera to third person. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is uh, go ahead and create a new timeline. Uh, because the timeline will allow us to create a smooth transition. So let's go ahead and add a timeline over here. Uh, uh, you know, call it what you want. In my case, I'm just gonna call it transition. And just plug it in into play from start. So every time we call this, it will play it from the start. Okay, so now we can double click to go ahead and open it. And I'm gonna add a new track, which is gonna be a float track. Um, name it how you want, okay? In my case, it's gonna be output I don't really care how it's called for this tutorial. Uh, set a length, it's gonna be for example two seconds or whatever. Um, and then basically add a key. This is gonna be our starting point. So the starting point is gonna be on time zero and value zero. And then gonna another key. I'm gonna make it so that the time is the length of the um, of the track and the value is gonna be always one. Okay, so now we can go back into the event graph and we have the output over here. Okay, so now we want to get our follow camera, which is basically our first person camera. I'm gonna drag it and I'm gonna set the world transform, okay, over here. So this will basically just uh, change uh, the position and rotation and scale, even though we're gonna use scale of the camera at once. But of course, if we plug it in with our uh, um, timeline, we can get a smooth transition out of it. So you just plug it into the update. And what we have to do now is in the output, we have to lerp it. Basically, lerp is just like interpolate into different values, okay, slowly. Um, so we're gonna do a type of transform. Uh, so the first transform is gonna be our actual position right now of the camera. So it's gonna be a follow camera. You drag it here and then get weld transform. And basically, we'll get the transform of the camera. It's gonna go from A to B, slowly with the alpha of the uh, transition over here. And then the the point that we want to go is the third person reference. Just go here and then say get weld transform. And then basically, gonna go ahead and plug it in into B. And then the return value is gonna go into the set world transform. And that's pretty much it, the, the setup. Uh, now, uh, I'm just gonna call it, for example, when I press K or something like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, for example, 
uh, n okay so when i press n i will just call this just for test okay this you will call this uh, event whenever you actually want to apply it into your um gameplay so i was gonna call a transition camera to third person and now if i compile and save we can go ahead and test it out i'm so gonna go here we have first person and if i were to press n you can see how the camera will change into third person now uh we have to play around with the value of um our reference so it was a bit too low and like this so we're gonna change it like this so just go ahead and play around and another thing that we're going to do and this will depend on how you want to do it but i will go ahead and um disable the input um of the player and then we'll go ahead and enable it again and of course transition back into um first person but to to, to see how it does we can go here it's n and we can see how it's uh, looking a bit better uh, now you can see that the camera actually, um, because I had set it up into use pawn rotation, um, basically doesn't allow to you know, rotate it. Um, basically, it stays the same as it was in first person. So um, also after we sell the input, actually even before, what we can do is just get the full camera and set pawn, pawn control rotation. And it's gonna be basically disabled so now I should be able to uh, press N and transition and now you can see that the camera uh, the camera transition it doesn't uh, from the previous first person one so yeah you just we have to tune in this bit better um, now you can use a actual camera to play around with your value uh, and get exactly what we want but I think this honestly looks pretty, pretty cool so now we have to do that it will transition back and i will do it with a delay you can create enough uh, like events so we'll call it back uh what you want but in my case it's going to be automatically so it's going to be after like for example just uh three seconds waiting in third person and basically we're going to do pretty much the same stuff so we're going to go ahead and just copy this until here and just paste it um we go this will also create a new timeline. Um, it will have the same parameters. You can use, you know, rename it, transition, back, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then it will enable uh, just pawn control rotation. Um, but I would do that at the end. So I'm gonna unplug it. There we go. And basically plug it in into finished. So we'd only do it when it's finished and plug it to true. And then instead of disable the input, it will enable uh, the input. But again, uh, I'm gonna do it, oh, sorry, in the finish. So enable input. And then also what we're going to do is just, uh, yeah, plug it in from play to start. So now basically we need a reference for the uh, first person camera. Um, so what we're going to do is just in the full camera, we're gonna add another arrow. And it's gonna be uh, FPS reference. Uh, it's gonna be with the rotation, the zoom, the zoom, and then we can leave it on the mesh. And there we go, we'll have the rotation. Uh, so now what we can do is just go back into advanced graph and on here, uh, the FPS ref, sorry, is gonna be on here instead of uh, the third person reference. Uh, this place, sorry, yeah. So now we can go ahead, press play, you can go here and press N. It will switch third person and then back into first person and then when it, we can finish we can go ahead and go back into our control and you can go ahead and also play around with the view of the angle um just to you know make it look exactly how you want um this is just basically go ahead and tweaking everything as you would like to do it so yeah uh pretty much like that so now we go here, press N, you can see how the camera changes and then it switches back into the person. And of course, if you want to do an animation like him uh, pushing the button, it will be even better. But yeah, that's, that's it guys. I enjoyed it so and found it helpful. I really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials as this one. So if you want to check them out, go ahead. And now, yes, with all that said, bye bye.